The richest university in the world, helping grad students apply for food stamps. Harvard, which sits on a whopping $53 billion endowment, putting on an event to help its graduate students apply for food assistance. A flyer promoting it saying, quote, fuel your body and stock your pantry. Did you know that grad students may qualify to receive assistance paying for food and groceries? We asked Harvard for comments, but didn't hear back. <laughs> Exclamation point, what's your thoughts? I love this so much. <laughs> I live for the moment where you see like a grad student on the side of the road, like outside of, out of Cambridge with a sign that says, we'll apply gender ideology on, <laughs> it, through a deconstructive lens for food. <laughs> 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 because that's what they do. By the way, I went to college. It's hard to believe. But no matter how broke you are, there's always Top Ramen. Yep. Like, I had Top Ramen three times a day. And then when I finally got a microwave, the hot dogs, the microwave hot dogs, you could live literally off $3 a day. And yep. I know that because I did. I think it's hilarious that somebody can afford to go to, uh, to uh, Harvard but can't afford a ham sandwich. Mm -hmm. That's a sign that you're making terrible choices in your life. <laughs> you know what? Maybe concentrate on making some money instead of throwing it all away to people who are going to destroy the world. Dana, we've talked... Did you go to Harvard, show, Harold? Uh, we talked, we've talked on the show about, <laughs> about the rising costs of education. We, we, as we talked in the context of retiring student debt, we said one of the things that Congress should do is hold hearings on why these tuitions yeah. keep going up. It seems weird that tuitions are so high and they, they can't at least feed the kids. Well, and also well, that you have an student. endowment that that's, that you, right. Harvard is and asking that. for us to attack their endowment. That, so they have this huge amount of money just sitting in a pot and they don't pay taxes on it. Mm. But they want their students to be more reliant on government, which you pay for. Yeah. This is insanity and everybody should be mad about it. Charles Payne was on Newsroom this morning. He had another good point. In the supplemental that President Biden either just got or just asked for, they asked for $3 billion to address homelessness. Okay, all right, maybe we could all agree that that needs to be done. They asked for $39 billion to pay for a certain amount of student loans. And student loans were, those are costs that they knew were coming. It's not like, oh my gosh, I, I don't know. I, all of a sudden, I have the $600 payment. I don't know where it came from. They know because that's where they got it from. Um, but homeless people don't vote. These young people that want these student loan forgiveness, they do. I, I think you're right. Uh, Charlie, you got an opinion on this? Well, I agree with uh, Greg. I do think that this is just sort of, it's like a boot camp for uh, a gender studies graduate. Yes. Uh, you know, they're turning out all these social justice warriors. Turns out that they can't get a job. But I don't understand why they don't turn their social justice warrior-ness on Harvard itself yeah. right. and, of course, the federal government. Because, yeah. uh, you know, the thing that almost never gets talked about, certainly not when uh, Biden is talking about it, is the fact that the, the degree to which the federal government with student loans and the degree to which they are what are inflating all of these tuitions and allowing Harvard to have a $53 billion hmm. endowment that, as Dana points out, is not taxed. Um, it's, uh, you know, that, that, that's, they're the, they're the biggest problem in, in, this, uh, in, in this whole economic cycle that's going in the wrong direction. Be curious to see some of the, these grad students, how many of them have loans uh, to, to go to school. I know, in fairness to Harvard, I went to Penn, these schools are using some of their endowments to help low-income students uh, be able to afford an education. But this doesn't, this just doesn't jive right. It uh, doesn't sit right. You, you Judge, just said it doesn't say? sit right. And they, they've got a $53 billion endowment. Well, I'm not Think defending them, George. I'm way, not defending them. By I'm the way, I ate macaroni and cheese oh. all through law school. Did you ever do the double where yeah. you put twice as much cheese? Yeah, I'd save the cheese. But anyway, <laughs> so this is a push to socialism. Now, think about it. Two-thirds of the taxpayers in this country are not college educated. So what the Harvard is doing is they're pushing their own students to get food stamps the two-thirds of the taxpayers who never went to college are paying for. For very little, a one-fiftieth of their endowment of $53 billion, they could raise the stipend of these grad students and allow them to be able to eat and take the burden off the taxpayer. But that's not what Harvard's about. Harvard is about the idea of this liberal ideology and to push these people to learn to rely on the government and save as much money as they can. I think it's I think it's a tragedy. Why did you Why did you poke fun at me? I was agreeing with you, and you're you telling me that I did something wrong. Well, I mean, Harold, what did you I mean, eat? You know, you know that I love you, Harold, but sometimes I, I, love hurts. I eat pizza and subs and Philly cheesesteaks in Philly. Yeah, but you I'm went to Penn. Exactly. Is that a college? It My was when I, It was when I was there. Coming up, talk about getting blindsided.
<laughs> the NFL star behind the hit movie, ac accusing the family who took him in of making took him in of making millions and not telling the truth about it. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.